Question number three. An object of mass m rests on a horizontal plane. Horizontal plane is the object. The angle theta between the plane, angle the theta the plane makes with the horizontal slowly increases from zero. When theta equal to theta zero, the object begins to slide. Okay, so you make the plane like this. Okay, with respect to this, from theta equal to zero to theta equal to theta, that it begins to slide over here. What begins to slide? What do what do you understand by this? It means you are coming for a limiting friction over here, right? Okay, what are the coefficient of static friction? The normal reaction at the plane theta equal to theta naught. Okay, that's what you need to do. Draw the free body diagram. So mg is acting downwards. Then normal force is perpendicular to this plane. And then if this is angle theta, this angle should also be theta naught. How do you get this as theta naught? See, if this is theta naught, this is 90. What is this angle? This should be 90 minus theta naught. So this is theta naught. Okay, I'm going a bit slow. But you understand this, okay? So therefore, this is theta naught, and this. Now, if this is the case, this component of mg along this direction should be mg cos of theta naught, right? And along this direction should be mg sine of theta naught. Now, when, it, when you say it just begin to slide, there is a friction here which is acting like this. Now, let us draw the equations. We get n is equal to mg cos theta naught. So, which are the options correctly here described? These two goes away. And these two among these two one hierarchy is correct. Then frictional force. Frictional force is equal to mg sin theta naught. Now what is frictional force? Mu times n should be equal to mg sin theta naught. What is n here? We already have found out from here. Plug in this value here. Okay, so what do you get over here? You will get you will get mu times mg cos theta naught is equal to mg sin theta naught. So mg and mg goes away on both the sides. So you get mu is equal to tan theta naught. How do you get tan theta naught? Pull this cos theta downwards, right? If you want, I can show it to you by another step over here. I can write mu is equal to sin theta naught divided by cos theta naught is an additional step, okay? So that you get this one as mu equal to tan theta naught, okay? So let us go on to the next.